Here's an extremely wonderful prayer book from around the turn of the 20th century scanned onto the internet that you can view on your phone in church. It has a table of contents, but there are no clickable links, so you're reduced to trying to use a slider to fish around to find the page you want to read. Supposing that I want to look at uh, Wednesday of the first week of Lent, page 156. I'm trying to get it to go to it. There is a little thing on the right, but it's this is not the best system. Our homepage is called Prayer Classics Online. And that's same table of contents is indexed so proper of the time Wednesday ember day page 156 it goes right to it I might have to make a little adjustment to get to it regardless of where I am on this website Clicking on the top left takes me to the home page. There's a large collection of different topics on these books. This is displayed for Lent. Here are some catechisms, different things devoted to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Holy Hour, Adoration. Our Lady, on another website, free traditional Catholic books, it seems like there are dozens of these free books, but they're they still have this limitation of being largely uh, without searchable capacity. What we can do is use a search function. I'm going to look up the word suffering. It's got the term suffering in the Catechism of Pope St. Pius V, as explained by Father Spirago. Now I'll look for suffering again. Uh, happiness on earth, hence perfect happiness is impossible on earth, for no man can entirely avoid suffering. And it's on the right page on the lower half. There I can get a little bit of counsel for that. Hence perfect happiness on earth is impossible for no man can entirely avoid suffering. The end of the worldling is misery as we have seen, and the just man is persecuted. No one can escape sickness, suffering, death, and so on. <laughs>